How's it going guys? Kevin here at Turn 5 Fabrication and today we're going to make some roll cage mounts for the Swifted Can-Am Maverick Sport. We were able to get the front mounts okay but we're having trouble getting the rear mounts which require to go two bolts through here and there's square tubing inside and I'll show you what the old mounts, the uh, factory mounts, what they look like. So this is what the factory mount looks like. It's kind of got a square square shape to it. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and mill a piece of steel that we picked up. So we have this piece of 2 inch solid bar and what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the lathe, cut a, cut a piece and we're going to put it on the lathe and turn it down to uh, roughly an inch and a half to slip inside of some inch and three quarter 120 wall DOM tubing and then we're gonna put it on the mill and put a flat edge on here with holes that way it can slide down into that hole and bolt right up so let's go so we're just gonna cut these at 11 inches and we'll turn down four inches of it to what we need to slip into the tube So I had actually gone over to a friend's house to use his lathe. He was kind enough to let me use it and make a video because um, I don't have one at the shop. And it had been a while since I used a lathe. A couple years ago, I used one at a job I was working at. Um, so we ended up actually talking about it and I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one from him uh, beginning year, year 2020. And uh, it's, a, it's a small one but it'd be a good one to have at the shop, I think. So I'm just gonna play a few clips here that I took of uh, turning this piece down. Um, some of them will be fast forward just to kind of skip through. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Some people like to watch this stuff, other people don't care for it. I really don't have time to make it. Just one of these things that, I mean, it took me three weeks to get to the editing portion of doing this because I've been so busy with work, so enjoy.
going to go ahead and just take some measurements of this. So the width that we're going to bolt through is 1.77 and then just kind of a generalized width of the whole thing. We're going to try to save some weight and take off what we can. 1.35. We got our piece in there. Got a brand new bit. We're going to get started. This is another one of those things that it had been a while since I used a mill and um, this was the first project that I did on it since getting it at the shop. I had the speed, spindle speed way too high and ended up burning up this bit so I had to switch to a smaller bit which took way longer than I wanted to do to turn this piece down. Okay, so I haven't really been gauging this how I should. But we got 1.8 inches across there, and I measured the the can am itself, and it's 1.85 inches spacing in between. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go measure over there and see how good it fits. I mean, this thing is this thing is massive. The wheel comes up to my to my waist. The best way I found to get up here is to just climb up the tire. It doesn't quite fit. There's some tabs inside of there that I couldn't see earlier. So, back to the mill. Okay, so I went ahead and dropped my piece in here and I marked it with a with a marker. enjoyed watching this video um, I'll try to make some more videos here in the future like I said this was kind of the first project that I did with the lathe and the mill and hadn't touched one in a couple years before this so kind of like bicycle you know you relearn it and get better at it <laughs>